uh, 120 in the afternoon, worst time to go fishing in the history of worst times to go fishing. And it's like 147 degrees at least. No, not really, but it is 95 degrees, which is way too hot. Wrong time of day, really hot, sun's pounding down on the surface of the water, so uh, not really a good time of day to go fishing, but we're going to try it anyway, because usually what happens when it gets that hot out is the water temperature on the surface gets so hot that the fish, well, the big fish, big bass that I want to try to catch, usually do two things. They either go out into the deepest spots in this lake, because it's not very deep at all, I think the deepest spot's like 20 feet, but uh, yeah, they go into the deep spots or they go for where there's tons of cover and shade, so it kind of localizes the fish and it kind of makes them easier to target, so that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, like I said, time of day is kind of not ideal, but I can't go in the af uh, afternoon or morning, so we're just going to go for it, and uh, hopefully I'll find some fish, so I'm going to put everything in my boat and I'm gonna go out there and then I'll uh, catch up with you there. Usually this is all water right up to the shore but uh, right now we got like 12 feet of mud. Let's see if I can even get out of here. Oh gross. I don't really feel like getting my feet soaked but whatever. Let me rephrase that. I don't feel like getting soaked with this putrid mud. Ah! I don't know if I'll be uh, bringing the boat back in that way. Probably not. Oh. Oh, time for the sun hat. Alright. Just like that. Ready to fish. Ready to catch nothing. I don't know why, but whole summer. These ten and a half inch, I don't know what color these are, red shad, uh, zoom, soft plastics are perfect on a, a white or some other light color. I was actually doing really good on a green one, but I lost that, so I'm using this white one with a red trailer, and uh, they work really good in this reasonably clear water. It's not like super murky. So yeah I mean it looks pretty good under there. That red shimmer is really good and then chatterbait makes some noise. So that works pretty good. So I'm gonna keep this thing at like hopefully 12 feet or more of water and just troll back and forth. See if we can find a big bass. I'm not holding my breath. Just like I said, it's 1.30, which is not the right time of day to be looking for big bass. Hey, look, that's a fish. Oh man, are you kidding me? I thought I was on bottom. Awesome. He's either. Oh no, did he spit it? No, he didn't spit it. He's a fighter though. That's a good fish. Uh, 144. 15 minutes I've been out about. Trolling right down the middle of the lake with a white chatterbait, ten and a half inch, silver shad, red shad, I mean, don't spit it, don't spit it. This fish is fighting like, uh, he could possibly be good. I'm just trying to keep slow steady pressure on him because they'll shake their head and just spit it instantly. That water temperature on bottom right now, we're in like 14 feet of water, so I bet it's 20 degrees different from the surface temperature in the bottom, so when you're pulling them up into that heat, they uh, don't agree with that and they go the other way as hard as they can. 
So I'm actually struggling to get this fish in. And I really need to keep... I think he must have some weeds or something. Either that, he's just a monster. I can't tell. It's a big fish. Oh, oh my word, that might be my BB for the summer. That's a big fish. Oh, oh that's a big fish. That's a big one. I mean, that's not big for... Wow, that hook was just... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That might not be big for uh, you guys from down south, but guess what, in Maine? That's not a bad bass. Not at all. Alright, let's get the scale on this guy. Look at that fish. <laughs> that thing's got a monster mouth. I mean, I can fit my hand in its mouth. Oh, he's got to be four pounds, anyway. Maybe not. High threes. Still, good fish. Mid threes, 3.8 pounds. So, not my first. I got a four and a half pounder already this year. But still, I mean, look at that fish. I gotta make sure this up. Not right in the camera. Right there. Trolling with a white chatter bait and a red shad trailer in the middle of the lake in August. So that's how I find them here. I don't know if it works everywhere, but it, it's always worked here. So that's what we're gonna do. And there he goes. All right, let's get on some more. but I like it. If I didn't have it right now, it'd be really, really hot, so. one Ethan. That thing took right off on me. Holy cow. It's not that big. That first fight though, holy cow, he turned me right around. Now he's coming in easy. Okay, he's pretty good. He's ripping some drag, ripping drag. Let him get my pole out of the water. I think he was just turning towards me. I don't think it's that bad. He's a pig. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is a big one. Oh my word, look at the look at the gut on that fish. Look at the gut on him. This one's bigger than that last one by a good bit. Wow. wow. This is ridiculous. He was not gonna spit it. Okay, he would have. That is a big fish. That's a big fish. Look at the gut on that fish. See that girth right there? He's so much thicker through. His mouth is bigger. He hasn't been hooked lately. Man, that's a big one. That is what... I don't know what it is. I'm about fishing deep with these big chatterbaits, but you always get a big average. It's crazy. That's a big fish. Four pound fish, it's pretty good. Look at that. Thinking gut on him. He's just a big fish. Here we go. Let's 
save him for next time. See if we can get him again. Alright, let's get some weeds out of this thing and get it back out there. Looks like it's pretty beat up. It's definitely hit it. There he is. No! No! Oh no! Missed him. That was horrible. What a terrible hook set. You gonna go back for more, Bob? Oh man. Okay, where are we? We gotta go back through here. Are you serious? Oh. That was close. I'm gonna be dragging back over this spot. So I just missed two fish. Oh, he spit it. Yep, he spit it. Bummer. Oh, you gotta keep him down, Ethan. Bummer. I don't think that was monster, but it still sucks to lose a fish. Oh, there's bass. Nope, was not ready for that. Stay down, stay down. Come on now, I don't want to lose another one. We lost two already, guys, at least. I saw two that I lost, anyway. I gotta kill this motor before I... I'm all twisted around backwards here. No, stay down, stay down. Come up like that, that's how you lose them. Stop doing that. All right, all right. Can't be as big as those last two, but I don't even care. Nope. Not as big, but fish. Still a pretty chunky feeling. Just finding them right out in the deep water, guys. Yep, there's another one right there. So yeah, there's probably three pounds two and three quarter. It's a good long fish. Kind of skinny, but he's got a pretty good head. So, pretty sweet. Just dragging across the nice little, there's a spot underwater there that comes up and goes back down and they hang out all the way around that. So, if you can find spots like that in this late time of year when the water temperature's up, they kind of go for it. There he goes. Back to the bottom. Sweet, so that was good. Felt good to get one back on the boat after I lost uh, at least two. I had two come up and thrash around, spit the hook, and then I had a couple that I failed to set the hook on. But so we're just gonna get out in the middle straight ahead, and we're gonna drift back down, and then that'll be it for today. I'm just flying by, and I got stuff to do later, so it's what we can. Well, guys, that's it for today. I'll, uh, Back. Got the boat all loaded up in the back of the truck, and I'm out of here. Uh, I've got a few, lost a few, that's the way it goes. But uh, if you like the video, please uh, like, maybe comment if you have any uh, ideas on how to improve the method of fishing that I was doing, kind of trolling, kind of not trolling. I don't know what you'd call it because I was using the jig chatterbait thing, but. Uh, just leave that in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. Thanks for watching. Probably next video I'm going to try the same thing, only in a different lake. So it could be good. Maybe you'll kind of find some uh, bigger fish. I'll have four pounds. I'll take that all day. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys.